The filing deadline to run for the two Portland City Council seats that are up for grabs in this year's election was yesterday. That means we now have the entire list of candidates who will appear on the ballot in the primary election in May. Turns out a whole bunch of people are interested in this job. They include incumbent Commissioner Joanne Hardesty and Dan Ryan. A total of 20 candidates have thrown their hats into the ring. Nine for Ryan's seat at position number two, 11 for Hardesty's at position number three. That's the biggest slate of Portland City Council candidates since 1970, if you don't count special election races like the one in 2020 to replace former Commissioner Nick Fish, who died partway through his term. All 18 of this year's challengers will appear on the ballot, but not all of them appear to have the resources to pose a serious threat to Ryan or Hardesty. Most of them, for example, have not set up campaign committees. That is a step that you're only allowed to skip if you expect to spend less than $750 per year on your campaign, which I guess is possible, but not likely if you're going to win. Some of them also don't appear to have campaign websites. Ryan's foremost challenger appears to be nonprofit leader and political consultant A.J. McCreary, whose campaign currently has a cash balance of about $41,000, according to records from the Oregon Secretary of State's office. Hardesty's two most prominent challengers are administrative law judge Vadim Mariski, who has built up a campaign cash reserve of about $130,000, and also attorney and business owner Rene Gonzalez, who is up to about $174,000. As for the incumbents, well, Hardesty's campaign currently shows a balance of about $211,000, and Ryan shows a balance of about $171,000. And yes, I know, money doesn't equal votes, but you get an idea of the strength of the campaign there. The primary is May 17th. In each race, a candidate can win the seat if they get more than 50% of the vote in the primary. If none of them get there, the top two will advance to a runoff in the general election on November 8th.